The forge has gone quiet, the bellows blow no more. The forge has gone quiet, the smiths have gone home. Only fading embers remain, and my hearth grows cold. One kiss from you to rekindle it all. Dog in the camera. <laughs> We're back on episode 30 of uh, Queen of Embers. You guys know the drill. It's the same night as Queen episode 29. Right. Uh, so, what did you all. Shh, our secrets, Dan. I know, our Christ. Nobody knows. So, what is the decision here, uh, people? Are you going uh, to. Above board, we're going to try and find out about his investments that he referred to or where he keeps other money. Um, and then. Uh, See about uh, burning the place down because we promised we would, uh, and then uh, <laughs> uh, taking the body we found and and him up to Reich. Okay. Well, his investments were spread out among other people in Slum Row. Uh, he has no more information to offer. Committing arson as a six corruption crime. Everybody around the table, uh, and <laughs> you will head back to Besaya's Square. Uh, with him and is the corpse in tow. Yes, it is. Arson is fucking terrible. Yes. Yes. Cleansing, yes. It's cleansing the earth here. Yeah, yeah. yeah but totally Maybe in your city. modern mind. But <laughs> no. Totally worth it. Yeah. Arson in a city is fucking terrible. It's bad. That's why yeah. I asked if we were getting close. Yeah. 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 It's bad. So, uh, you take him and in the, in the dead person to Reich and kind of explain the story of what happened, or at least what you wish to disclose. At this point, and Reich seems and I to knocked, be. I knocked the candle. Yeah, and Reich, Reich seems to be on the up and. Reich is not necessarily on the up and up. He's on. He's clearly on your side, despite the kind of back and forth that he and um, Alistair, or not Alistair, my apologies, Banneker have had. But it's clear that Terwin trusts him, and he tr Terwin trusts him. Did you disclose what you wish to do at least? And he will nod and. Take note of it, and he will assure, he will ensure you that James Tallow will pay for his crimes in a way that is right. befitting the, befitting the crime. According to the law, it'll be sundown by the time this all happens. It's now night in the city. All right. Well, it's a roundabout way of doing it. I just guess it gets done. Make you feel better. Help you sleep at night. We could have done it just the same. We burned it down for you, man. We burned it down. Also very possible that that earns us some favor points with some mm. people that we could use some favor points with. Mm-hmm. And he'll be dead either way. A little wind tonight. A little bit of dark skies. A gathering a storm. It is. It is the season. Season for killing. Keeping my eye out for Salt Peterman. What, worry, oh, what oh, worries me? Constant vigilance. Mm -hmm. is I know I saw the body get up, chase me through the night. I know I saw it. But. Oh. But. Maybe it didn't happen. How did you lose it? What? What? What was the end result? It obviously didn't kill you. So what happened? Listen here, Warren. I know you're not lying. And that's exactly why I said, I know you think you saw it. Mm -hmm. And the only reason I say that is because you've come to me and you said you're not always sure about things. Like what happened at the... Uh, or the goat. The island. Or the goat. Oh, or all these other things. The island. I think you're so, first born. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not giving up on you. I'm not cursed. But are you going to remain here at night? Or are you going to go to Dire Straits? Yeah, oh, we're going to go to Dire Straits. Straits. Yeah. Yeah. So back to Slum Row? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kind of watch. Or try to keep an eye out if we're tailed or 
Well, the storm will take a turn for the worse by the time you get back to Slum Row. It's raining and you're soaked by the time you get back to the Dire Straits Hotel. All you need to make a challenging uh, toughness test to withstand for the peril. Soaking wet, but the time you return to uh, <gasps> where do they go? <laughs> the candy. Oh. By the time you get back, <laughs> anybody drop to uh, I don't know where did two ranks or more? Uh, can you use fortune points for peril like you do with damage, or is it just damage special? You may do it immediately afterward. Yes, I would like to use one for to move myself back up to ignore two skill ranks because they've knocked me down there. Okay. Ooh. So you use one. So did, did anybody move to two or less? Two minus two or minus three scoring? I did. No, because I don't care. My friend, you caught a cold. Yes. Tonight's a great night. Hey, roll one. <laughs> you ten. needed that, didn't you? Add one. Uh, five plus one is six. Okay, you'll suffer a cold for six days. Six Ooh. days. Mm-hmm. I needed another daily track. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's how we know what day we're on. <laughs> Poor guy. It's always going to happen. We all know it. We've seen this every session that we've ever played with me. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. Between me and Nick, everybody's going to get corruption at the table. <laughs> I know. Day. I'm at nine. Yeah. I am not even kidding you. I am at nine order, and I will never get ten. <laughs> Which you need so, so the roll are moving. I do. Yeah. So, by the time you get back to Dire Straits, and Alistair, this is a new place for you. As you come inside, it's a rather bustling respite. Being isolated as it is from the rest of Slum Row. As you come in, there are all manner of folk in here who are look a bit rough and tumble. Sawtoothed, armed, ready to do some business. We're going out. <laughs> People like you all. <laughs> we finally found our place in the city. <laughs> Straight up murder. Yeah, it's a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're one of us now. <laughs> Just mercenaries and uh, the type. Yeah, you know, other folk who probably uh, ply their trade with their weapons here. Hey, Danica. Leg breakers, gam- professional gamblers, uh, other besotted types. PCs. <laughs> Player characters, yes. <laughs> murder hobos, yes, <laughs> and, but the place literally says Di- it's this old leaning hotel called Dire Straits that is just on the edge of Slum Row near Lovelock Bridge, where you can see your man uh, Robin Grimbley, or Robin Grimby, the uh, the uh, keep for here. Welcome back, welcome back. He says as you come inside. Oh, thanks. Eventful day. Very. I suppose we'll grab a table and have some drinks and some food. Alright, boss. I order a bath for later tonight. You need to wash some of the candle stink off? Smell uh, it. So, <laughs> who is, uh, so those who are lowborn need to spend uh, five brass pennies. Those who are burgers need to spend uh, one shilling. Those who are aristocrats need to spend two shillings. That's is that for food or food everything, yeah. Does that go down at all depending on build? No. Okay. Uh yes. What's your build? Uh, slim. 
Slim? Okay, so. That's mine's 10%. Oh, what's, your, what's, your, what's your total cost? One silver. I'm One shilling. Uh, go ahead and spend 18 brass. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, not 18 brass. My apologies. I spent 8 brass. 8. Okay. <laughs> How much for adding a bath on that? Nothing. Okay. It's part of it. It's food. It's room, board, bath. Okay. You get back. Matthew's already been taken care of. Naturally, Alistair. <clears throat> what about the goat? The goat just knows. <laughs> the goat tends itself. <laughs> it's on the roof. <laughs> Fucking physics. How does it happen? It yeah. just does. It's the Bethesda engine. What can you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Motor is bouncing between the rock. Are <laughs> 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 you playing the goat simulator game now? <laughs> That's what I'm just thinking yeah. through. What is the Brom? Why is a roach on top of the house again? Yeah. The Witcher. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, the place, though, is is rather lively. What is it? Oh, it's a roach stuck on top of the roof. Boy, oh boy, do you look worse for the wear. Speak for yourself. <laughs> yeah. I told you about the mind bender. To set you, set you at ease. I'm right as the rain outside. Yeah, you are. <sighs> what you getting at, old man? I told you. The mind bender here, Anton Masma. A doctor take, take you right care of you in the better way than any barber surgeon will. You need any mind bending? I already told you. I'm right as rain. He's right as rain. Wait. Hey. Wait. Banneke. This annoying. You see this big kind of wooden sign in here. Clearly there's paid signage inside this place. And there's this picture of this man with his fingers on his temples like this. Wearing this <laughs> turban with these kind of circles around him. that says, and Dr. Anton Mesmer, mind bender. <laughs> like an 1870s or if his loot or not sign, essentially. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and pay and leave an extra penny on the table for the the innkeep, kind of as a, mm-hmm. a way to politely move him on. Sure. He will excuse himself to go attend to the rest of the patrons. You all find yourselves a nice little cozy corner, like a little corner bar, a table in the middle. You bring food and drinks. The place, I mean, the place is basically yours. Relative privacy, at least. There's a lot of noise in here. I know it ain't none of my business, but I'm gonna bring it up again. I'm not asking you to say nothing. I'm just wanting to say, if it really was something like that, I want to express my appreciation for what you did today. Welcome, boss. Set for a team. Currency is currency. Yeah, speaking of that, I wish we could have got some, but uh, we offered half. Yeah. There would have been a fight. I gave it all. Wait, there would have been a fight. Later. Ah. Huh. Very well. This smooths over everything. You got enough drink in your pocket. Actually, I don't. Remember, he used all his for that surgical kit. Mm hmm. Well, it's hard. Yeah, it is. And. I'm not saying it's anyone's fault because, well, it's all our fault, uh, and I am quite the perpetrator of this. But we said we tend to get in a lot of fights, mm. and we get things done. And we're practically naked. Yeah. So, if we're going to be getting in a lot of fights, if I'm going to be getting sideways glances because I've got a sword at my side. Around here. No, anywhere else. I could be walking around without, without wearing anything and still be, be holding on to my family sword. I'll get sideways glances from people that the only reason they can do that they can even keep that mentality is because of people like us. Alright, so speak it, Taryn. What do you want? I'm thinking this leather armor ain't doing me no good. Well, it's doing me some good. But, you know, 
Maybe a maybe a halberd and mail or something like that. What royal are you uh, knocking over? Well, funding your 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 life pursuits. <laughs> what would that even cost? <laughs> oh, oh, it's cost a good sixty or so. <laughs> Have you been dipping into Lisa's uh, those left-handed cigarettes she rolled? Here's a question for you. Here's a question for the you. The devil's cabbage. The <laughs> devil's cabbage she's uh, always uh, munching on over there. You leave my inhalations out of this. Here's a question for you. Yeah, yeah. How many crowns you got on you? Uh, that's, a good, that's another one of those none you. Right. None your business. Well. We not- divide. And you pay what you want to pay. I'm not saying I'm expecting nothing. I'm trying to prove a point. It's, yeah, and I'm proving the same point. None yet. I've what? got, I've got ten. And if I've got ten, then that means I can someday have ten more with what we're doing. Yeah. So. That's, that's a possibility if you uh, we do this right. Yeah. And with what we're doing, I'm probably going to be standing in some of these ways again. I don't deny that, but to be honest, even if we pulled together, 60 would probably be almost all we had. I'm not saying we do it now. I'm saying, I'm saying, we need to get some funding. Well, there's more than one way to do it around here. So you say we need work? Yeah, we need work. And you, with what you said, you did the right thing in giving up the, giving up the purse. Yeah. So... It's not a criticism. All I'm doing is I'm bringing about a priority that just c- came up because, well, we have enemies, and those enemies are wizards. Not the literal kind. I mean, we have two wizards now, yes. Yeah, you got a gun. Bonds. We're gonna give you that. Yeah. Oh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that if you gear up for war, the war is gonna find you, yeah. but the war seems right. to find us anyway. Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. At least just looks at her elbow. And look at you. you don't even have a gambeson on. No. And you, you, you shouldn't expect to, but you know what? You are in the Dufresne Agency. Well, I am. And we're going to find trouble. I tended before this point to be one that pushed papers, if one would. Mm-hmm. And a paper cut is not really something that you have to guard with a gambeson. Right. So... A thimble. <laughs> Listen, I... You've been lucky. You've been shot. And you're still here. Yeah. You were almost clawed in twain by some weird bird thing. Well, I was yeah. shot. You were shot. Well? He was... Sh- you weren't shot. You were shot. You got run over by a horse. You were shot. Well, I mean, we're all still here, boss. I'm, I'm really losing the point of this. I'm just saying we need to You want my purse? No, I don't want your purse. I'm just saying we need to find work. All right. And I want to get some better protection for me. Because if I've got any say in it, I'm going to be the one that's taking the brunt of it. Oh, a Westerner! Yeah? Grimby approaches with your drinks and food. Some have been banging about this place for you. The Lorenite and Black. Ah. Uh, oh. For me or for this one? I'll nod over towards. Came in here and quiet about all, yeah? Said something about coming here. You a lot? Yeah, yeah, he's no with us. Him. Where did he happen to go? Oh, he told me to come back later tonight. We assume we either we'd uh, get it, or that we know to direct him to you and rough him up. No. Yeah, I believe he's with us. We'll see when he walks in. I appreciate it, though. It's good looking out. You got tobacco? No, I'm talking to you. All right, good looking out. What do uh, any uh, any year down on that work we talked about? Nothing right now. Nothing yet. All right. All right, now what can I help you with? Oh, I was wondering if you had tobacco. You said you could. Uh, Things. Oh, we got folks come purvey all my black market goods around here. Let's uh, talk to the barman. All right. 
I'll get up and walk up to the barman. Whatever you want to get out of the book that's on the black market. Yeah, just, yeah it's like uh, yeah. a shilling per. Yeah, yeah. It's like I said, yeah. not important to cover off on yep. shopping on yep. camera. <laughs> so whatever you feel is appropriate, feel free to purchase uh, off the black market goods. Yep. But we're looking for some mercenary work, man. Take some side jobs. That's the plan. Well. Just above board while we're. Oh, yeah, yeah, above board. Yeah, I mean. You don't need to have that conversation. I think we got that. Yeah, yeah we're basically. He's at, he's at, he asked me to ask, and I said, Are you sure, basically? So, and he said, Yes. Yeah. So is it bar? Yeah, so above board, we're basically waiting to hear back from uh, the Allure Knight, the Hexen Storm, about potentially meeting with the, the Baroness or the and it's Duchess. It's going to be another Hexen Storm. Is Hexen it, it's going to be another week, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be a while. Yeah. I know that much. Uh, yeah. It's already been five days. So you guys are. Have been keeping track of the time very well. It's already been five say, days. It has been a few days. Five yeah. or seven days. Okay. Yeah. He said at least a week, so it could be past. Right, week, which is why I bought nice clothes already. Yeah, and and even though Terwin is after armor, it doesn't mean that it's not a good idea to have money for other things too, because you can buy information with money, you can um, buy people off with money that you know may have no, maybe coming after thing. you. Yeah. So that'd be. It's good to it's good to have funding for our investigative efforts. Um, so that's why we're services. we're looking for other ways to raise it. Because yeah. <laughs> so. so yeah, I mean, any any good operation yeah, does better when you have uh, when you have like oh, yeah. resources, sure. and assets. I know. Yeah, yeah. You say when you have capital. Again, remember who yeah. we are. That's why you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm hesitant to ask for work from said other Westerner. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be work that the Dufresne agency should take. Probably not. Uh, but, like, we. Like, do you have any other ways that we could come up with money? Martial law. Take out Martial Drew's. law here. So. Take out Drew's, take that slaver money. Right. Yep. Well, and we are chasing that down, too. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. That's dirty money, but I don't mind spending dirty money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, okay with blood right. money when it's covered in their blood. Yeah, <laughs> we can open up another orphanage with it. Yeah. So, uh, Have you ever seen any money that didn't? Money? Uh, you said it's evening. All blood. Judgment yes. Money. Is this about the time that we usually met with Hexenster? Yeah. Before. So we should expect that he'd probably be showing up. Plus, it's a holy day. That also. Can I use education to figure out if it's a holy day? Do you want to leave him? Nope. Uh, is, is, it is a hard education test. <laughs> Let's try it. Why not? What was the holy days again? Because the common holy days are different than the holy days in the in the good book. Uh, so I have a 33 if it's a hard, and I rolled a 13. Wow. It is not a holy day. Even the more esoteric holidays, like the more, ones are most common, like Morn Limb and um, Candle Mass. And penumbra, uh, but it is not a it is not a holy day today. The good news is this is one of the few days that's on a holy day, so Hexenstein should be here any moment. Oh, so the bank's open. Probably not at this hour, but yeah. But it gets European hours, so it's up for like two hours, and it closes for the rest of the fucking week. Siesta. We're out front drinking coffee, but that's right. No, 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 that's no. Right. The bank's closed. No, we close at one and reopen at three. It's the hottest part of the day. We take a nap. It's like Spain. Um, <laughs> It's confusing, but we like it though. It makes sound. I'm all about that. <laughs> so, so, at some point or another this evening at Dire Straits, you can see that Hexenstern, in a tall, thin, kind of scarecrow looking man wearing these tight black robes, are bound at the mm -hmm. waist, and he has pants beneath him with, a, with his kind of silvery hair. It's like, I've tried to get into here. Is that, this is it. And the people at the door are giving him trouble, but, event, but eventually you give him the sign in this case. Um, Banneker is in the side of the man. Well, I did not expect to see you here as a dire straits. I didn't expect, exactly expect to be here either. Yeah. I was told there is a bit of ruckus in Besaya Square with uh, the Dufresne Agency. He is holding books in his hand, of course. The unfortunate thing is sometimes... Two copies of Spider. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. I feel bad. Pounds. <laughs> anyway, uh, the unfortunate thing is sometimes when you do investigations, you uncover things you didn't mean to. And people don't like that necessarily. May I take a seat? Oh, of oh, course. Yes, please. Of okay. Course. Yeah, have one. 
He drops the books and puts them. <laughs> this is quite a lively place, you chose. Uh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Barkeep, would you mind? Um. Ah. Uh, Kills up two fingers. They'll bring him over something. Ah, the Madame Geneva. To our health. Hill. Health. Health. Hill. Yep. Hell. 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 To the hills. Hmm. Well, I apologize for my tardiness. Yeah, we're a little harder to find than we used to be. Well, it has been a long week. Let me tell you this. Huh? Also, things have unfolded <laughs> since the LaVinci chapter house. Yes, they have. You say that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rumor has it in Basaya Square that you are shook the salt Peterman's tree. Well, they tried to kill three of them. Yeah. Three of us and they tried to kill you. Knocked me out while I was already sleeping. They put me on Matthew. Tried well, to go on with me. Why would the salt Peterman be after you? Elisa points at her elbow. I think that we apparently did something. They think we're part of the 13th. Them. You what? They think we're part of the 13th. You don't look like you're part of the 13th. We, we are obviously are part of the 13th. Yeah. So how did they mistake the Fucking frame presents. for the 13th? Well, you know, in maybe time's maybe investigation. Maybe Elisa could explain it. There you go. Could. Uh, well, of course, we needed to know more information, and we didn't know if the 13th or the profit were part of the problems that we were having. So we yeah. still we s- sought them out investigated them and unfortunately we were near them and therefore mistaken for being a part of them hmm you don't say yeah. well you must have done something serious to invoke their ire the salt petermen are servants of the Genevieve we might think they would take your arms so quickly unless you would cause harm to their operations well the 13th certainly would with the raid they committed. Everyone knows of that. The unfortunate thing is we may have gotten roped in with that particular group that does that. We may have gotten roped in. Yes. So you're saying you were there? We were there. We were present. We didn't do much, but yes. Other well, than try to stop it. So the Salt Peterman believe you're part of the 13th because you are there doing the raid on their compound. Yes, yes. Get to the point. Well, I am to the point. You have wrapped at the wrong tree. The salt are incredibly powerful. I'm well aware. The unfortunate thing is, once again, when one investigates, one sometimes finds theirself with their hands unclean. And unfortunately, the salt meter petermen like to shoot first and ask questions second. You would think if one would even reason slightly, considering we are the Dufresne agency and we work very closely with that which is the monarchy that we wouldn't obviously be going with the 13 now would we well i'm glad you are here i've heard terrible things about those who have crossed the salt peter and being taken to the iron tower they will take me nowhere i don't wish to go hmm. they picked up three of their own to take them to the iron tower Indeed. all right that's why we're here ah well done, this is a place to stay. No brigandine around here. Not many, not salt petermen either. At least they don't operate out here. Oh, no because tower in the slums. Well, Fonda Square is still under martial law. They put a bit, a bit of uh, trouble trying to get across the bridge to Basaya Square. I apologize for that, but unfortunately, it does appear that uh, the political leanings apparently that are going on with the different groups are. Proving to be caustic. They took your weapons too. <laughs> what weapons will I have besides a walking stick and a cane? It's a joke. <laughs> Sir Leland, that, um, that his men are very much fervent to their duty. Right. They, they love the Baroness very, very much. And the citizens even as much. Oh, I understand. And they still probably have 13 hiding amongst them. <clears throat> they most definitely do. Yeah, their numbers have been dwindled. Yeah. 
Yeah, I forgot about the Bell. thirteens or the thirteens numbers have dwindled. The thirteen. Oh, yeah. okay. I understand. People are saying that the prophet has left the city. Mm. I don't know if it's true, but so they say. People say a lot of things. I'm not sure you're all there. Right. If I were one to lay low, I'd say it left the city too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what brings you here? You hide, you land low too? <laughs> Dog and dust. I came to find you. In fact, I am curious. Do you have news for us? I do indeed. Come to bring some news of the Baroness. Oh. Mr. Chandler has spoken on your behalf to the Bell Gods, and I have, of course, spoken to the Baroness as well about the work you've been doing for Dorlindel. She believes very earnestly that, that, that those who would bring herself into her circle to help her align her needs to the rest of the realm are important, and she would uh, seek an audience. Or if, she, you would, if you would seek audience with her, she would welcome you into her court. I could take you to her palace as early as two days hence. Alright. I see no reason to delay. Oh. We were at the Baron's, uh, Baroness's uh, call. Let me warn you beforehand. <laughs> The people who so she surrounds herself with or are attracted to her are people of all political stripe in the city. Of course. You would like to see Salt Peterman there. Well, hopefully they can be courteous in the presence of the Baroness. We would like to see Leland there too. Perhaps. <coughs> to he be honest. Like he doesn't favor us either. To be honest, there's not much we can do about our reputation with the Salt Peterman. They would not t listen to reason when we tried. And quite frankly, when I tried to say something, I ended up with my arm almost ripped from my body. Yeah. I even fought off some of the 13 from trying to chop down their tower, and they didn't seem to notice that. No. Well, it was quite a fracas, and it was yeah. night time, and who would see what was going on? Apparently they saw us well enough. Yep. That's what they thought. Well, you do have a tendency to stand out. You are dressed as if you are part of uh, the Dufresne. Right. You're I might say I did not wear my <laughs> my particular wares. Yeah, perhaps, I normally would. Uh, perhaps guilt by association, then. Yeah, you were standing with me. You have not been. The Dufresne agency is not known for its subterfuge, historically. No. Nah. Tackers. If we were known for it, it yeah. wouldn't be that good, would it? Mm. <laughs> it yes. They wouldn't have sent me if that was our intent. Well, there is certainly strength in that. You are gaining notoriety in the city. And you have put people on watch. That is good. I assume what you're trying to get at is that possibly we need to work on our relations between the other groups before we meet with the Baroness. Well, what little will you accomplish in two days? You said two days is the earliest. It could be pushed possibly back further, yeah? No, it'd be two days. Oh. All right, two days well, it two is. Days. So in those two days that we wait, you know her best, and you know that we obviously have good intentions towards her rental, so what would you suggest that we try to do in the meantime? Truthfully, I do not know the entirety of what the Baroness intends for you. Uh, mm -hmm. We have not had close counsel, but shall tomorrow. All right. What time did you want us to show up uh, two days from now? Well, I would say I shall send the messenger here to take you to the palace. All right. To take you by coach. Here's a question. Yeah. <coughs> You're having close counsel tomorrow. I am indeed, yeah. What are you doing tomorrow night? Tomorrow's a holiday, he says, almost kind of expecting you to know. Yeah, of course, boss. But it's closed. Well, so tomorrow's a holy day, and you don't work on a holy day, right? Right. Well, he does, but not with us at the week. Okay. He works with Elena on a holy day. All right, yeah, that's fine. When the sun goes down, my time is dedicated to reading the stars. Might I ask before uh, the sun goes down if yeah. you could send us a missive? Yeah. Send you a missive. If 
please, if there's something that we should know about the Baroness, something oh, to... I am afraid I shall not have time for that. Yeah. Indeed. I think the thing to know is she's the Baroness. Of course. She's the sun, one of the stars of this city. And As it should be. She's one of the stars. And you know her intentions. Yeah. Right. Indeed. So you can think of nothing that would help us pre- to prepare for this. Yeah, I think nothing that, that we can do in two days. Changing hearts and minds takes time. Well, well, let, him, let him talk for himself. If you need advice, I, I could give you <laughs> three simple pieces of advice. Do not approach her grace unless she asks. Yeah. Do not question her grace, and whatever you do, do not comment on her grace's age. Very important. Don't approach. Is she old? Don't ask. If don't say anything stupid, unless she says toss you out on your keister. If you do something stupid, you'll probably get jailed of us. Okay, so don't approach. Don't ask questions. And don't ask her, and don't say anything about her age. Yeah. Those, those are pretty simple. I would assume. Or, or yes. no, we're gonna have. Uh, and what would happen to your accent? What accent? I'm just gonna drop that now. You sound like you sound like you sound like you're from the north now, but my north, not your north. A bit more like my north. But let's not go there. What what is what are, what are we doing there? With this audience? I do not know. How do we have an audience and not ask questions? <laughs> She's she going to talk to us, us and we're going to listen. You're on lore night and you don't know. Oh, come on. Well, that's you what tomorrow is for. I know I'm breaking the stereotype. You know, lore night's not everything about everything you're not going to tell you. <laughs> but in this case, to be. To, to, to Stuart, Stuart, cross me, I. I have already, I have time with her tomorrow for just a short while to speak about the business she intends. As for what she intends for you, I honestly do not know. But okay. she knows of you. She knows of the Dufresne. She knows your names. She does. She also know the work that we helped accomplish with you. Or might you be able to speak to her on that matter tomorrow? Well, she has. She knows as much as she needs to know. I have vouched for you. So he is Thank you for that. We were told to come and help the Baroness. And so we're going to go and speak with the Baroness. And so what she wants, she gets. Of course. So it's pretty simple. So, so I got Keep a question. Can we say, uh, and what, what would we call her? The sun, the moon, and the stars? Her grace. Well, I mean, you call her like four other things. So her grace. So yeah. you say your grace. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Grace. May, may I be impertinent and ask a question of you? Yeah. Of course. That's the way to ask the question, though. What do you mean? Ask to ask before you are given the chance. Do not question her, Grace. I think it's best we listen instead of speak when we go. Ah, best way I to believe learn. that's what you're trying to infer. She believes you were a close acquaintance of mine. Uh-huh. I have earned her Grace's trust since pen, since the cataclysm and even still we have a very professional relationship okay. i am well, sure there is secondary nature is what you're saying i have vouched for you i see i'm fine with that all right pretty standard call uh, so when we walk in what we do is we greet her simply we don't ask questions and we listen to what she has to say and then we answer whatever she asks. This is her house. This is her city. This is her jurisdiction. It's not our place to question. Then we ask her attendants any follow-up questions we need later. They're the ones who know the business anyway. Yeah. They always are. It is not for her to be questioned by us. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We genuflect and turn three times. Make our way out on our healing in the business. If she asks for it, yes. Does everyone have understanding of that? What are you looking yeah. at me like that for? You think I'm gonna cause trouble or something? It's not that stupid. Normally we can count on you for it. 
Uh, and today it saved us. Sometimes a little trouble is exactly but what's needed. Yeah. Not let's let's just make sure it doesn't happen. Stats, I believe yeah. we've expressed that we fucking understand. Good. Yeah. I would stay, say, uh, Melissa, yeah. that you may take a kindred spirit in a new a new uh, person to the court who has tied herself firmly to the Baroness's side. Yeah. A barrister, her name, and as she mentions, as he says her name, the, 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 the mentioning a female barrister is unheard of. Completely unheard of. Her name is Rosalia Mansfield. She and the Baroness have uh, found a kindred spirit of another. She now represents all matters legal Ew. with the Baroness. This is quite uh, strange to hear of an attorney with a female name. She is a woman. Obviously. Alright. Might she be there when we meet with the Baroness then? I should imagine her entire court will be nearby. The Baroness rarely travels alone, and when she attends, she brings others into uh, attendance. It is not uncommon to find others around her. There are a number of people in her court. Hanger on, sycophants, some, cool. some useful, others not. But such is the life of the sun and the moon, the stars are turned on. One would only expect that a person so highly regarded would have quite a few people around them, sick of and all. She is a very busy woman. She has so, grand plans for then, Durandal. So then my question, I suppose, at this point is, uh, obviously this barrister I would like very much to meet and speak to at some point, but is there anyone else in the court that is of note that we should possibly know? Mm. There is a uh, artist who has found herself and her who's found himself in her orbit. An artist named Elaine Selfie. A painter. I guess I'll have to get my hands on one of them selfies. Does he only do portraits of himself? Well, he does many portraits. In fact, he is a natural philosopher and an, and an artist. Mm. He is a... Between between us... He looks around. Elaine Selfie is a bastard son of Phelan the Great. I don't follow art. Well... Phelan the Great is the bard. Not a bard. The bard. In 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 in, in common terms, the he, would songs be, he is he is like William Shakespeare. Yeah, he's yeah. the bard. The mm -hmm. uh, I, I keep just saying that to you. The, the bard. I didn't grow up around literature too much. I don't know. I'll take your word for it, though. Half the plays and songs you hear the common scene. Those are Phelan's. I'm not from around here. Got you there. That's what I'm saying. It's very but I think if you keep on saying that word, it'll eventually get to him. The boss. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You've heard of him. Yeah. Well, All right. Well. Uh, yeah. So a bastard of the board then. Yeah. Um, it's a barrister Mansfield. Yes. Myself. I should suspect that Elaine Selfie shall be there. Mm. Maybe. Maybe Captain Wolfgang. Maybe. Is he another member of Brigandine? Not precisely. <laughs> oh, and uh, Captain Tenefeld. Captain, my captain? Captain Tenefeld is Brigandine. But Captain Wolfgang is not. Oh. oh. And what's Wolfgang captain of? This and that. He's a, a free spirit. Well, I mean, oh. weren't most of the Brigandine mercenaries? Were they? Well, he isn't. <laughs> He's not burgundy. I wouldn't say 
mercenaries to anybody who's in Burgundy. He is a a um, a self-styled captain, if you will. Ah. Uh. I think I understand. Hennefeld and Wolfgang. So, current you believe five would be in. Maybe, maybe Sammy Newhouse. Sammy Newhouse and Captain Wolfgang are very close companions. How many other sycophants do we need, though? I mean, are these people important? Important enough that they have uh, that they have the Baroness's blessing. Hmm. About how many would you say are in her court? Oh, many. Uh, a few come out of her orbit. A uh, man named Hrong Bigley. These names are interesting. He's an ogre of a man. He, too, is a friend of uh, Captain Wolfgang. To be honest, the names may not mean anything to you right at this moment, but it's useful sometimes to know these things before you walk in. So, yeah. Uh, Barrister Rosalia Mansfield, than we are. Elaine Selfie, Captain Wolfgang, uh, Hrung Bigley, <laughs> Elaine Selfie, Captain Tannerfeld, Sammy Newhouse, perhaps others. That at least gives us an idea. People to look into or look out for. <clears throat> uh, did you say that Sunny Newhouse would be there? Yeah, likely. I don't know. Seemed like someone who would like that to be said about their fucking name. <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly right. You're probably correct. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, 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 Sammy, like Samuel. Oh, well, I don't care about him at all. Then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the far less notable new house. Oh, oh. I apologize for us not having the correct one of the mm-hmm. family. Who's <laughs> a sycophant? Don't worry. A great slight has been delivered upon. The I'm sure an apology will be drafted immediately. I promise to be nice. Please. Thank you. Let's. Uh, a lot has happened in the past week or so. Yes. I'm sure you, you heard about Mr. Tallow already, didn't you? Who? The Candlemaker. <coughs> Down the way. <coughs> he shakes his head. I don't know any Candlemakers. Because I don't know. What are you looking at me like that for? Well, I didn't him. get answers out of him. I need to get it some out of someone, and he's an allure knight. Yes, You're inferring a lot of meaning from looks. All right, then I'll carry on. Well, turns out we uh, came upon this uh, this candle maker, and uh, well, mm-hmm. he. You know, I've been seeing a lot of things lately. I've, I've been telling you about it. Uh, let me stop you there. Uh, <laughs> perhaps you should see the mind bender. No, he no, 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 no. The no. I, I, I'm just saying. I, I just want some clarification here. I can have a feeling, clarifications of the spirit, my I, friend. I, I just want to know one thing. Are you aware of any necromancers in this city? Ne- necromancers? Yes. Well, why would you? Think something that, like that. Well, I told I told you I've been seeing things. I just want to know whether what I saw was true. I am afraid I am no doctor of the spirit. I am a, a man of the stars. My eyes are turned toward the sky, not toward the minds and hearts of men. I do apologize. I wish I could help. Fair enough. I had to ask. Well. Well. A lot has happened in the past week. Mm-hmm. I can answer any questions you may have. Have you discovered anything from the Da Vinci books and, and studies? Well, it has been a uh, chore to reassemble the difference engine. Yeah. I am afraid that some of the writings uh, by uh, Halsdorf has been have been mired in confusion. I think I told you before the way they were written. Yes. They were written backwards in ancient old, from right to left. And even then, some of the words don't quite sync up with my even my knowledge of ancient old. 
So it will take quite some time to continue my studies on that. And I'm afraid it's going to take weeks. I'm just curious if anything has been uncovered at all. Nothing that comes to mind. He smiles. Postoff and his students have. Uh, Postoff students have been uh, repositioned. What were you going to say? Oh, no, I got nothing for him. Uh, uh, just one question about dress code. Uh, I assume we should probably dress as nicely as possible. And, I, and I, I'm just uh, uh, verifying. I'm going to guess that we shouldn't bring any weapons. I'd just like to state that out loud. Visible? Yes. Well, you are defraying. I do not think that she would look unkindly upon that. I mean, keep in mind that the Baroness was the bride to Baron Genevieve. Alright, I mean, I just don't want someone to show up with a family heirloom and get all upset if they try to take it away. Actually... Nine, nine. You'll go by coach to the palace. All actually, right. you see, that family heirloom actually might be a better thing in this one particular instance. You say so. Well, just, I just like to avoid confrontation. You see... The very first man that she got to know after she was spirited away was a man carrying this sword. <laughs> before, oh. before Lyndon Genevieve ever got to talk, got to share words with her, they was friends. Mm, I see. That's interesting. Well then. He was the first one she talked to. That's what my dad said. So hopefully you're, you're saying that that, uh, that sword may carry some weight. Well, that and the last name. It's never been done me any good, but it may do me some good two days from now for the first time. Oh, isn't that nice? Good. Got you that sword, boy. If they ask for it, it'll be the first time you've seen me get one. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, then. The night draws for along, and I need to return to my studies. And is there anything else that I can help answer before I leave? Yes. And uh, Warren asks this a little too loudly. Mm -hmm. Is the Baroness going to be talking about seceding in two days? Well, he, he, he says, I'm sure you already know of the Baroness's intentions for Dorinda from the rest of the girdle. I suspect that this business she may have with you is related to just that. I see. Knowing your notoriety in Durendal, at least. She oftentimes finds work, workers that is fitting for the work. So you think she's going to be asking us to help her out with that? No guess is as good as mine, but if I'm a betting man, I'm sure that it has something to do with that. Hmm. Okay. Bell excuses himself. I must be off. It's right. storming outside still. I will send a messenger in two days hence, in the morning, and they shall fetch you and take you to the palace. Yeah? Yes. All right. That's right. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. Thank you again for the drink. I appreciate it. Indeed. And uh, have a good evening. Mm -hmm. You he, as well. He will walk off betwixt the people, out into the storm, and like that, he's gone and we'll stop here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Boss, at least. Do we need to report in on this? To the agency. I don't, I don't mean Steeds to Steeds Hill. I don't mean to the king. I mean, we have two days. We can get to Steeds Hill in no time. Well, Steeds I Hill can. is just right outside the city. Are you sure this is the time to check in? Well, I'll leave it at that. <sighs> You know, that ties into what I was going to say to you. What's that? Well, you see, we've got orders to help the Baroness. And if the Baroness helps, asks us to help her with her plans of that, then he's going to help her. Otherwise, you know, all the power of the Dufresne. Because we got to follow orders. But it doesn't mean we can't check in. I wouldn't have thought of that. 
King and country. King and country, my fine team. Your words, not mine. The Grahlstetters always come first for me. Oh, well, you've already proven that. So, I just need to make it absolutely clear. This is what we're here to do, and we're going to do it. We have to. It's our orders. All right. To get you. All right. We'll wrap up here. So, 100 reward points, everybody. Corruption. And corruption. Um, by the way, uh, Alistair, sorry, not Alistair, my apologies, Banneker, uh, burn a reputation point for negotiating the nonviolent outcome. Burn one. Yeah. Oh, I don't mean reputation points. Oh. Okay, so not enough to mine. Well, we'll let it slip for now. Okay. But that should have burned your reputation. That's okay, though. Okay. You're in deficit, just kidding. So. Corruption for tonight. The roll is. Please roll high. Mm, seven. Nice. Mm. Wait, chaos. Wait, seven? Does that mean we get chaos? If it yes. Meets? If it everyone, meets. everyone should. Yes. Is it equal? <laughs> Uh, if it, if it's equal or below, you gain uh, a Oh shit! Oh, I, know, I thought it was equal was, was on the good side. <laughs> <laughs> the way it goes. Otherwise, one would be inconsequential. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Well, thank you all for tuning in to Queen mm -hmm. of Embers. Yeah. We'll be back in a week for episodes 31 and 32 with the the meeting with the Baroness. Wow. And uh, we'll, we'll intrigue we'll, event. I bet. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Thank we'll see you in folds. Thank you, everyone. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 B